form a bond, our, our picture is you form a bond and the interaction energy of the, of the two atoms that form a bond has a, that the potential energy, the interaction energy has a shape that looks like that as a function of where the, how far apart the atoms are. So as a function of this R, the distance between the atoms. And, and this is just a, a generic picture, so it's representative of, well, uh, two atoms that are very, very far apart have negligible interaction and so we just call that potential energy zero. When the two atoms come closer together, the potential energy goes down. This from to the right of of this dotted line here is the attractive part of the potential energy because it goes down as the two atoms get closer. To the left side of this dotted line is the repulsive part of the potential energy because the two atoms are being pushed apart as they get closer when you're, when you're that close. So, so what happens when they come close together is that the potential energy goes down. If they're going to form a bond then they will lose energy as they come closer together. They have to lose energy to something. So the energy just doesn't disappear. It, show, it shows up somewhere. They have to interact with some other system. They have to lose, as they come closer together, they have to lose this energy. And so what goes down when the bond forms is the bond energy. This well depth is uh, is often called what, what you can call the binding energy. In, in chemistry you talk about binding energy as the energy that you need to add to something to break the, uh, to a molecule to break it apart. So binding energy is the energy you need to add to break something apart. And and so if the potential energy is down here and the atoms are not moving, this is a model of those two, although uh, usually you would take the atom to be bigger and the atoms to be essentially touching at that point. Um, when, the, when they're this far apart, if they're not moving, so they're not oscillate, they're not going toward each other or away from each other, but they're that far apart so they have no kinetic energy, then they're bonded and the, the length of the, the distance between them is not changing with time. They're just sitting there at that distance. And so that's the lowest energy that you can get is this down here for two atoms. And you would say that if you wanted to break those two apart, if you want to add enough energy to break those two apart, you, they have this energy right now. If you want to add enough energy to break them apart, apart means large R, then you have to add that much energy back in. Because when they're apart by, at large R, you want them to have either zero energy or enough kinetic energy that they can fly up, that they're still flying apart. So the minimum energy at, la at very, very large R is zero that, that uh, you want them to have. So you have to add in this much binding energy to break them apart. So that's the picture we have of, the microscopic picture we have of bond energy. And so let me just see if I can ask you a couple of questions that are, that are kind of review questions, but, but they ask you to think about this potential energy again, not just uh, the mechanics of how to calculate kinetic energy and how to graph it, but, but what these things mean. So the first question, suppose we have two oxygen atoms whose interaction with each other is represented by this potential energy. So that's supposed to be two oxygen atoms. I shouldn't draw this up here because this is meant to be a generic potential energy at this point. And the equation that I wrote there was a Leonard Jones potential and so oxygen atoms are not held together by Van der Waals forces. They're, they're, it's a covalent bond. Um, 
But the generic picture is still the same. The potential energy goes down as they come closer together. Then it goes back up again. What value does this potential energy have when they are separated by a distance equal to the bond length and you formed a bond and there is no kinetic energy. So they're at a distance equal to the bond length. You have, a, you have formed a bond and they have no kinetic energy. What is the value of the potential energy right then? That's my question for you. Is it the binding energy? Is it the negative of the binding energy? Is it zero? Did I not tell you enough information or none of the above? 